witches. I'm Blythe and today I'm going to be doing a book review of the witchy books I've read over the past three-ish months. Also do have to say I do audiobooks so I don't have anything to hold up and show you. I highly recommend listening to audiobooks if you're a busy person. Uh, it's not sponsored, I just really enjoy them and it just makes getting your books in a lot easier. I don't even pay for mine, I go through my library. So you should really see if your library has a similar program. Also, spoiler alert, I'll try not to give too much away, but you know, just in case, um, I'll try not to tell you anything you won't learn in the first few chapters of the book. Uh, the most recent book I read was called A Discovery of Witches by Dipper Harkness. I actually just found out they made a TV show about this, um, but I haven't watched it yet. The book is about a witch, Diana, who lives in a world with humans, witches, demons, and vampires. So far in her life, she has kind of revoked her powers um, until one day she finds a book in the library that kind of awakens her magic. And of course, she becomes the most powerful witch of all time. And of course, she falls in love with a handsome hundreds of year old vampire. That is my first complaint, that it does get a little too twilighty, like, I'm a witch and you'll never understand me. And he's all like, but we're soulmates, we're meant to be together. My second complaint is that she gets way too powerful way too quickly for my liking. Uh, she was shunning her powers for her whole life and then all of a sudden she's superwoman. Uh, sure. I liked it okay. It's pretty slow in some parts and it ends weird for me because it's part of a trilogy and they have to leave you on a cliffhanger. So I'll give it 4 out of 5 stars. The next book is actually a series of books called The Sweep Series by Kate Tiernan. I only made it through about 6 of these books. I'm not really sure how many books are actually in the whole series. Um, but this book is about Morgan who gets invited to a Wiccan ceremony and lo and behold she gets there to find out she's actually a real blood witch. And then her and her high school buddies have to go around fighting dark magic for the rest of the series. These books are alright as well if you're looking for a quick, easy read. The books are super short and they all end on cliffhangers as well, sometimes literally, which can get pretty annoying if you're not ready to pick up the next book right away. The high school drama is real with these ones, so be prepared for some boyfriend stealing and some petty girl fights. Also, these books are pretty outdated. Uh, it's about a bunch of high schoolers and none of them have a cell phone. Another sticking point is that the cast is huge. There's Morgan, her friend group, her family, her boyfriends, his whole family, and then even minor characters like the shop owners and stuff like that. So there is a learning curve on that too. And I do think it would be hard to pick back up where you left off if you wait a while in between reading one book to the next. They are entertaining if you know what you're getting into beforehand, and I do think they're a good read. So I'll give the whole series a 4 out of 5. My next book was Waking the Witch by Pam Grossman. Uh, I'm not even going to beat around the bush. I love this book. 5 out of 5 stars. I highly recommend this book. She pretty much goes over the whole history of witches, portrayals in pop culture, witchy tropes like the pointy hats and brooms, and just witch culture in general. It is a long read, but well worth it. So every witch or anyone who's interested in witches should really read this book. My last book is not about witches, but it's kind of witch adjacent. It's called Antigone Rising and it's written by Helen Morales. So while not specifically about magic, a lot of witches do call on Greek gods and mythology in their practice. And this book talks about Greek myths and folklore that still play a part in today's culture. From rape culture to the Me Too movement, uh, Beyonce, how we treat hermaphrodites, I thought it was super interesting and a really smart read for anyone who's into Greek myths. I give this one a 5 out of 5 as well. And that's all I have for you today. I hope you make some time to read this week. Remember, don't be a good witch, be a great witch, and I'll see you next time.